In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at her. They have kept everywhere on her body. We cannot leave her. As they gave birth to her, bam, I saw that star. I took it. For your information, you are leaving her now. I cannot leave because you are not greater than our master. Jesus Christ is greater than your master. And the snakes put together. I always see snakes. I usually feel snakes when I'm washing my private part. I want, want to cut head. the snake. What? Who are you? <laughs> the idol. We have one of our cousins. He started shouting that he is seeing a very big snake. And nobody was seeing it. My name is Nka Lovelin Egbe. I'm confirming the word of prophecy that the man of God said, we worship a snake in the family, which is true. When I was young, there was one evening, one of our cousins, he started shouting that he is seeing a very big snake. And nobody was seeing it. The idea that came to people was that they should take him to a group of soothsayers, that they should wash his eyes, that he's seeing things. Then later on, when they took him there, they proposed that they have to come and build an altar in the compound. So they came now and did all type of sacrifices. They installed the altar. When we were growing up, we wash our hands with water. We go around the house. Then our grandfather will be saying some words. Then later on, we use our hands and wipe them on the walls. And he said, all what is going is to protect us from having those type of affairs with men. But later on, I discovered that my cousin, my stepbrothers, who want to have an affair with me. From that altar now, things start changing in the family. I keep seeing these snakes in the gutter. Even when I sleep at night, I will see snakes in my dream. And I used to take it lightly. I said, if you see snake, it is normal. I discovered that that snake was living inside me. I usually feel snake when I'm washing my private part. I was seriously sick. I went, went to one native doctor. He did all type of incantation. A blade was used to cut me. He prepared something in the leaf and gave me to eat. And he said that all my problems are over. The same day that I left the place, I felt sick that night. The spirit was saying that I have to die. I keep on going from places to places. Then I came in encounter with the act of God TV and seeing what God is using the anointed servant, Apostle John Chi, to do to other people's lives. I said, I have to be there. When the man of God was prophesying and coming closer to me, I realized that there was this spirit inside me telling me to get up and try to hold myself. I could not. I only realized myself on the floor. I used to have these dreams of eating in the dream, seeing a giant man coming to my dreams, seeing people sleeping with me. Since then, after my deliverance, I am fine. I sleep like a baby. I don't see those dreams any longer. Every December approaching, we always have sudden death. And since then, there is no sudden death. And nobody is complaining of sickness. Thank you, Jesus. I am happy. And the family is also happy. All the disagreement that was in the family, sickness here and there, I'm not experiencing it again. When you are having challenges, you shouldn't give up. We should believe in God's time. He will see you through at the appointed time. Because I believed in God's time, and when the time came, nothing stopped my deliverance.